Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to mirror your Android phone screen to Windows 10 without any software. Now a lot of people ask about this yesterday when I uploaded a video about projecting your screen. So today I'll show you how to project your display on your phone to Windows 10. It's very simple. You don't need to download any software or anything like that. You can just do it within Windows 10. So let me show you how we're going to do this. So first off, what we're going to do here is go to start and go settings. And then the first thing you need to do is make sure devices where it says Bluetooth is turned on. This needs to be on for it to work correctly. So toggle that on, and make sure that's on. You can see all the other devices listed inside our Bluetooth and other devices here. So what I need to do next is go back and we're going to go to system. And once we go into system here, you should see projecting to uh, this PC. Click on this. Now, if you see that this grayed out, I made that video yesterday. I'll quickly just do this now so I can show you again. If it's grayed out like this, you need to go to optional features, go add a feature, and then come down to where it says wireless display. And then you can install that piece of software there. So just click on this wireless display and click install. Normally it shouldn't uh, be grayed out like that, but if it is, that's what you can do. And it should look something like this. So go to the top part where it says always off recommended. I'm going to drop the arrow down here and we're going to put it available everywhere. Now you can set up a required pin if you want to. I'm going to leave it as never and leave it set in like this. Because once I've finished uh, broadcasting my screen to here, then I'll turn it off. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone and make sure you're connected to the wireless network in your home. So you need to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Then we're going to go to Smart View here. This is a Samsung phone. Yours might say cast screen or something along those lines, but this one is Smart View. Click on this and you should see the Smart Casting with Smart View. I'm going to click Start Now. And once we click on Start Now, if I can get that clicked, it should start to connect. And you should see it start to display itself up on the computer here. Down on the bottom right, you should see Allow Once. And that's my phone. You can see it's saying connect Galaxy S9. It wants to connect. And what you can do here is use the drop down arrow and change it to whatever you want here. So if you want to change it to something else, you can do. I'm going to leave this on allow once and then click OK. And then once you do that, you should connect. Your phone should be now being displayed on your computer screen. It's that simple. So when you click on, say, for instance, Plex, you'll see that it's connected here. There might be a little delay, and that's because I've just tried to match the video up, but it is seamless. And you can see here, it's connecting here. And that's how easy it is to display or cast or mirror your phone to your PC in Windows 10. It's called projecting to this PC. You just need to make sure that you've got Bluetooth on, you've got connected to your Wi-Fi network on your phone, and you just need to make sure that um, you allow it to go through and you should be okay to display your phone over on your PC. And it's free and you don't need to have any software installed on the PC. Now there is a little delay here and that's me where I've tried to marry up the two uh, videos. But don't worry about that, it is seamless. And you can see here, if you want to disconnect, you just disconnect on the smart view and it will disconnect you. And then what you want to do for safety, just to make sure that you can go back up to where it says available uh, anywhere. You can just basically put this back to the recommended setting to keep you nice and secure to make sure no one's going to connect that way. So let's go ahead and just make that change on the setting here inside projecting to this PC. So to change this, all you need to do is to see where it says some Windows and Android devices can project to this PC when allow them to enable where we enabled it you just need to always off recommended and when you want to use it you just turn that back on and follow that same process and you'll be able to project to your pc again anyway i think that's going to be about it just a quick one today my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i appreciate the support hope you're enjoying the hot weather and i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again bye for now <laughs>